On the flip side, Jalen Brunson had himself a solid night, 40, 40 points on the night. Uh, but you, they're not getting anything else from anyone else when it comes to scoring-wise. Are you worried that Jalen Brunson is having to do too much scoring-wise? I think that's a it's it's such a difficult question because he's had to do most of the scoring ever since Julius went down in January, right? And of course he had Dante, you had other guys who were able to supplement through the regular season. So I want to say it's like a yes and no answer because no, this is something that Jalen Brunson has been accustomed to doing this entire season. That's why he's been thrusted into MVP, top five MVP consideration because of what he's had to do to help carry this team. So this is nothing new. But I also I want to also say yes because you're going to need offense somewhere else in order to keep that defense honest, right? OG's been doing a solid job these past two games. You're getting some critical moments from Deuce McBride off the bench, losing by Boyan Bogdanovich hurts because he's another guy that could have gotten hot coming off the bench. Now you don't have that. Now what you need is guys like Josh Hart and Dante DiVincenzo to get into their scoring bag and really help. And I'm looking more so at Dante because. He's our three-point specialist. He just broke the three-point uh, made uh, makes this season. So you need him to get going, and you see that he's just been getting he's just out of rhythm at this point. The way that Philly is guarding him, they're not giving him any airspace to shoot the to shoot the ball. So there has to be some way to get Dante back involved. Like yes, we got some crafty finishes from him in the paint last night, but really we need his three-point shooting in order to help take this Knicks team to another level. It's just been very difficult for him to get going. Yeah, Jalen Brunson, like, I need that roommate to pay his rent in terms of Dante <laughs> DiVincenzo. My man, uh, they, they need that three ball, like you said. All right, it's 3-2. It's going back to Philly Thursday night. Do Nick fans hit the panic button? No, I don't think you hit the panic button. Look, I, I know that last night is a crushing loss. I was with rage last night on post game for for Knicks fan TV but the thing the fact of the matter is that this team is gritty this team does have a tough mentality where they can just they know how to correct themselves and I look back to the way that they ended the regular season to get to 50 wins you know you lose to the San Antonio Spurs close game you lose to uh the Oklahoma City Thunder another close game but you just think about that run that they went on to end the season you talk about beating the Milwaukee Bucks you talk about beating the Boston Celtics. Then you defeat the Chicago Bulls, the Brooklyn Nets. Like, they beat some quality teams to end off the season and end with enough wins to get to 50. So this team knows how to grind it out, how to win, and they are a tough, a mentally tough team. So I'm not pressing the panic button. They're not in this position without being who they are. So I believe that they can go into game six and close it out. It just comes down to them executing and making the right decisions. You can't have the jump pass turnovers. You can't have uh, trying to get cute with trying to do multiple jukes as uh, as Jalen Brunson has been trying to do when attacking the paint. You just got to be able to read and react and go and just understanding the defensive positions that you need to be in when it comes to late game, late game management. Like you can't have Mitchell Robinson fouling uh, Tyrese Maxey. You can't have Deuce not fouling Maxey before he hits that game that game time three so it comes down to late game execution at the end of the day but i do believe that this Knicks team will be able to f uh, figure everything out and correct their issues all right i'll take my hand off the pink button then uh hey tell the people they can find you alex brandon always appreciate you bringing me on you can find me over at Knicks fan tv we do a lot of we do a lot of coverage over the Nick, New York Knicks over there, so make sure to check us out. You can go to youtube.com slash KnicksFanTV. We also got a website as well, KnicksFanTV.com, so make sure to check out all the work over there. My man, thanks for jumping on, man. Appreciate it.